Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about why a computer may be running slow and what you can possibly do to speed it up. Now, there are a number of things that can cause a computer to go slow, including corrupt software, failing hard disks, shortage of RAM, and of course, the machine could just be too old. For this video, I'm not going to address corrupt software. Plain and simple, it's just too big of a problem to chase down, but I am going to look at the other options. There are a lot of software packages out there that claim to make your system go faster by cleaning up your registry. I'm personally not a fan of those packages and don't recommend them. I've had too many situations where one of those packages damaged the operating system to consider them reliable, so I don't even look at those as an option. So let's start with failing hard disk. Um, one of the symptoms of a failing hard disk is that your system will slow down to a crawl. Um, so if that's, this is happening to you, first thing you want to do is try to get a backup of your data made. Um, once you've done that, then let's see if the hard drive is failing or not. We can start by looking at the event logs. If you hit the Windows key on your keyboard, you'll get the uh, Start menu. And if we type in Event Viewer here, and then click on Settings, and go to View Event Logs, and we can click on the Windows logs up here in the top left, and then under System. And then what we want to do is sort this by source. And once you've sorted it by source, if you scroll up, uh, and we look into the D, um, because this is alphabetized, if we look at D, um, here, if there is a disk error, you would see it, um, oops, I'm going the wrong way. If there is a disk error, you would see it here. Now, I don't have any errors here, but I'm going to show you a picture of another computer here that did have errors. Now, notice the disk error says hard disk, DR, hard disk 3, DR3. Usually that means it's an external hard drive, unless you have more than one hard drive in your system, of course. Um, if it's your primary hard drive, this will usually say hard disk zero. You can also get this message, um, disk errors, if you unplug your USB memory stick without ejecting them properly. So if it's not specifically saying hard disk zero, it's probably not a disk error. The other thing you can do is go onto the manufacturer's uh, website. Seagate and Western Digital have hard disk diagnostics utilities on their websites. Okay, so let's continue on here and uh, see if um, you have enough RAM or not. This one's a little tougher because if your system doesn't have enough RAM, Windows is actually going to try to compensate by only loading um, some of the features as necessary. The problem this creates is that when it does need to access the other features that are not in the RAM, it's going to load them from the hard disk. Unless you have a solid state hard drive, the hard drive is usually the slowest component in your system. So effectively, your system slows down because it's constantly going to the hard drive. You can look at this using Resource Monitor. Um, if we hit the Windows key again and then type in ResMon and then click on uh, the Resource Monitor here, it'll bring up this window. Okay, so if you look here, you can see I'm using about 30-35% of my RAM. Now, if this number was higher, closer to say 70% or higher, and there was a lot of disk activity going on over here, then that would tell me that you're running out of RAM and it's buffering to the hard drive, which is going to cause your system to slow down. In that situation, add more RAM will usually speed up your system. Okay, so the last thing to look at is whether your system is just too old. I would generally say that if you have a machine that's three or more years old, it's probably time to start planning for a new machine. One of the things you can look at is um, CPU usage up here. Once your CPU usage starts to hit 70% or more on a regular basis, it's pretty much time to replace the machine. Um, typically, you can't change out the processor for a faster processor, so that means you have to get a new machine. And that's basically it.